There's no denying that Xiaomi and Realme have been at each other's throats for the past few months trying to outdo each other. Both companies have launched budget phones with 64 megapixel cameras. Realme XT came first and Xiaomi has now responded with the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now, between these two smartphones, which is better? We put them in a head-to-head -to, -head to find out. Now before we go ahead with the full comparison of the Realme XT and the Redmi Note 8 Pro, be sure to subscribe to the Gadgets360 YouTube channel and click that bell icon so that you are the first to know when we have a new video. The Realme XT and the Redmi Note 8 Pro both sport Corning Gorilla Glass 5 at the front and the back. These smartphones have curved glass at the back that helps give them a premium look and feel. Both phones sport big displays and dew drop notches at the top for their selfie cameras. When watching video on these smartphones, we preferred the output of the Realme XT screen because it delivered better blacks and punchier contrast thanks to the use of an AMOLED panel. The fingerprint scanner on the Redmi Note 8 Pro is also positioned slightly out of reach at the back, whereas the Realme XT has an in-display fingerprint scanner. Both work equally quickly in our experience. The Redmi Note 8 Pro sports an IR emitter at the top which the Realme XT doesn't have, giving the Redmi Note 8 Pro a small lead in terms of functionality. The Realme XT is lighter and packs a more powerful 20W Wook charger. The Redmi Note 8 Pro ships with an 18W charger. Each phone takes a slightly different approach when it comes to software. The Redmi Note 8 Pro runs MIUI 10 on top of Android 9 Pie and offers several useful features, although it also serves up lots of annoying ads. The Realme XT runs ColorOS and has lots of pre-installed apps, but we did not encounter spammy ads. We prefer ColorOS over MIUI purely because it didn't get as spammy. Performance is of course extremely important, and the Redmi Note 8 Pro's MediaTek Helio G90T SoC performs better than the relatively older Snapdragon 712 SoC on the Realme XT. If you're going to be gaming, you should pick the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Xiaomi has also ensured that the Redmi Note 8 Pro has an upper hand by offering 6GB of RAM in the lowest variant, priced at 14,999 rupees. In contrast, the Realme XT has only 4GB of RAM for the base variant, which costs 15,999 rupees. With the kind of performance both these smartphones pack, we never noticed any lag or stutter. Loading up apps or multitasking between them was a breeze as both these smartphones have enough grunt to deliver expected performance. We played PUBG Mobile on both these smartphones to see how they can handle gaming. Both the Realme XT and the Redmi Note 8 Pro could run the game at high settings without any issues. We did not notice any stuttering on either device. We played a match for about 30 minutes on each smartphone and noticed that the Redmi Note 8 Pro was warmer than the Realme XT at the end and had a higher battery drain at 11% compared to 5% drain on the Realme XT. Let's talk about the battery life. In our HD video loop test, it was the Realme XT that came out on top with a massive lead by managing 20 hours and 36 minutes, whereas the Redmi Note 8 Pro managed a respectable 14 hours. The Realme XT also managed quicker charging thanks to the more powerful bundle charger and its smaller battery. The smartphone managed to charge up to 46% in half an hour, while the Redmi Note 8 Pro got to 32% in the same time. So while the Redmi Note 8 Pro is the more powerful device between the two, the Realme XT can stay away from the charger for longer. Surprisingly, both smartphones take the same approach to cameras and have the same combination of cameras. Both smartphones sport quad camera setups at the back with a 64 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel wide angle camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The camera apps on both these smartphones are easy to use, but the one on the Redmi Note 8 Pro is just more user friendly. We took photos with both smartphones at the same time to see how they perform under identical conditions. Both smartphones were quick to focus and we rarely had any issues. Photos taken in daylight were better on the Realme XT with more accurate colors and marginally better details. This phone also metered light slightly better, helping it expose frames more naturally. In bright scenes, both smartphones enabled HDR automatically. We preferred the shots taken by the Realme XT as the Redmi Note 8 Pro sharpened them a bit too much. 
shots taken with the wide-angle cameras were better on the Redmi Note 8 Pro, as the Redmi XT produced a cooler color tone and tends to overexpose shots. In low light, we noticed that the Realme XT delivered brighter shots. When using the night modes on both phones, the Realme XT still delivered better results. When shooting close-ups, both also managed similar levels of detail, but the Realme XT had more accurate colors while the Redmi Note 8 Pro was slightly off the mark. However, when taking close-ups in low light, the Redmi Note 8 Pro surprised us with its color reproduction and details, managing to outdo the Realme XT. We noticed that the Redmi Note 8 Pro let us set the level of blur when taking portrait shots, but that wasn't the case with the Realme XT. Both phones separated objects from their backgrounds well and captured good details, but the Realme XT seemed to be applying a purification filter to faces. The Redmi Note 8 Pro tends to overexpose backgrounds slightly, which wasn't the case with the Realme XT. We also put the macro cameras on these smartphones to the test. Both will let you use the LED flash while taking a macro shot to prevent shadows from ruining the output. In daylight, the Realme XT managed to capture better details both with and without the LED flash on. In low light, it was the Redmi Note 8 Pro that managed better macro shots than the Realme XT. At the front, the Realme XT has a 16 megapixel selfie camera, while the Redmi Note 8 Pro packs in a 20 megapixel one. Selfies taken with both the phones had good amounts of detail, but we preferred the Redmi Note 8 Pro here, as it got the color tone better. The Realme XT exposed backgrounds better than the Redmi Note 8 Pro, but had a cooler color tone. Selfie portraits came out looking good with both phones, but the Redmi Note 8 Pro edges ahead of the Realme XT once again. Video shot on the Redmi Note 8 Pro looked more dramatic, as the phone pumped the contrast and sharpness up, whereas the Realme XT delivered more natural looking results. Video shot in 4K won't stabilize, but we found the Redmi Note 8 Pro to have slightly boosted contrast. Video shot at night had a shimmer effect, but it was more prominent on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. The Realme XT delivered a better video in low light by metering light better. The Redmi Note 8 Pro and the Realme XT are both capable devices that offer great value for money in their price band. By undercutting the Realme XT and offering better specifications, the Redmi Note 8 Pro scores big in terms of value for money, which could help its way buyers in its direction. If you're purely looking for a gaming smartphone that can handle all the current hot gaming titles, then the Redmi Note 8 Pro should be a pick. On the other hand, the Realme XT is a really good all-rounder here and Realme should consider slashing the price of the Realme XT to heat up the competition. And that was our comparison between the Redmi Note 8 Pro and the Realme XT. What do you think about the smartphones? Let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.